Here we are, back. Part three of the Darkness of Blaze. I'm going to go with an Austin tactic this Rusty time. Bucket salute. I'm just going to go with right from the right-hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You did the same thing I did. You pulled seven. And we're going to try to set these up so they don't fall down. And an eight and a nine right there, baby. Oh, yeah. That's got a charry on it. Did I only open eight last episode? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's still nine left, so okay, okay. I think you did just fine. Okay. It's not a competition anyway, so it doesn't yeah, really matter. We're not competition this time. We're just having fun. Yeah. We're just trying to see what we can get. See if we can make our money back or add to our collection. If we can make our money back and add to the collection, that's that's what we're really looking for. Even better. Even better. Okay. Here we go. Keep it moving, boys. Rusty Bucket time. Yo, brother Bucka coming in. Looking for another Charizard. We'll try to see if we can't get another fitted spot. Another fitted spot. Because that's what we need. If we hit another 50 spot, this this box is almost paid for. <laughs> almost. Not quite. Whew. That's some powerful energy right there. We got a hit. Soul Rock. Sinistee. Fribus. Man, it's just so hard to focus on everything else when you just know you got something there that I'm butterfree. Hey, that other Charizard's seven bucks. That's a score. Was it? Was it seven bucks? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Okay, well, we got a butter for you. That's that's something. That's just a plain old sleeve, boy. That's no double. That's just a regular plain old single sleeve butter free. At least we're getting hits. Yeah. Man, I'm just glad we're getting hits. It, this is a boost to morale. I'm just telling you. The first hour of the day. Whew, man, morale was low. Yeah. To we, say the least. We recorded the next two, the last two episodes of. Uh, yeah, Truck Stop Hero. Yeah. And it's official. I am a Truck Stop Charlie. And I probably deserve a Truck Stop Charlie tattoo. Yeah, at this point. I feel like I need to hire an artist to draw to draw up a truck stop Charlie. And uh he's gonna be the saddest, brokest, broke down truck driver the world has ever seen. The world has just tore him to bits and he's just so sad and broke. And man, he just spent his life in the gutter. Maybe and that's should, me uh... truck stop Charlie. Maybe he should have some Pokemon cards in his hand and, like, dropping them on the ground or something. Yeah, and a rusty bucket on his head for a hat. Yeah. That'd be a good tattoo. It would. You know, he just have Pokemon cards falling out of his pockets and out of his... Uh, sticking out of his socks. You know, every, every place you could stick a pack of Pokemon cards... That could be fun. In the spokes of his uh, bike tires. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Maybe we can have him in an old rust bucket <laughs> of a semi truck. Oh yeah. Yeah. The old rust bucket semi truck. Maybe we'll do a video for some amount of subscribers where we both get rusty bucket tattoos. I'd be down with that. I say a hundred k. Wow, that's a lot. Damn. Dang straight. I'm not just going to get a tattoo on a whim. I mean, I got to know these people are dedicated, man. 100K, man. 100K? Man. You kidding me? I would go out there with bells on to get a tattoo for these people at 100K. Before then, you know, I'm still questioning. You know, you could probably convince me at 1,000. 
<laughs> you could probably convince me at a thousand. Just saying, because a hundred k that's a lot. A hundred k is a lot. That's a lot. That really I'd is. Say that's a lot. Five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. Because five thousand. Five thousand. I can. Like a yeah. Lot. I can, I think we can. I think I can go with that. That's crazy. Well, you know, you gotta aim high. If you aim high, you land low. Wait. Or I mean, if you don't aim high, you land. Low. Uh, something like that. Something. Yeah. There's there's some sort of philosophical, philosoph philosophical waffle there to be eaten. Yeah. Tell us in the comments if you philosophical. Aim high, do you land low? How do you land low in the awful waffle? Okay. Bird keeper. That's not what we need. A bird keeper for a furret or a purlin. A hippopotus. Oh, man, that sea trick just looks so comfortable. Larvista. Morlol. I don't know why I hate that Pokemon so much, but I just do. Just looking at him makes me angry. Who is he? Uh... D D D D D D N D D N E D N A D N A D N A D N A knock off Pikachu. Yeah, he's like he looks like a plushie, but I don't know. He's like trying to look cute, but he's like not a, pulling it off. Somebody tried to draw a Pikachu and messed it up. Basically, yes, messed it up horribly, horribly. We got a hit. Pol Poltergeist, Solrock, Kabu, Jigglypuff, Dansparce, Clink, Marini, Torchy, Dunspark, Vikavolt V. Don't know. Looks like a bug. Electric bug. Electric bug. Probably like 95 cents. Probably. If that. It is so stinking cold in this room. I feel like I'm shivering. But I'm probably not. I'm surprised my fingers can function. There's that art that I like. It's not nearly as impressive without the the foil with it. But I still like the bundle bundleby. Dang it. Big bundleby guy. Yeah, big bundleby guy. I just like the art. It is really cool. Some cool looking art. Larion, Shimapur, Spikemuth, Oh, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvitar, Gullet, Thvass, a Yellhorn. Man, you could yell like a mofo with that. And a Reverse Milit Militic. He looks cool. Yeah, there was a cool Pokemon short about a Milotic uh, hanging out with... Uh Whatever that water trainer is from Sword and Shield, Nessa. That was a good. Oh, that short. makes that makes sense. You can see that on the Pokemon. I want to say the Pokemon Japan English YouTube channel. The Nessa short is pretty darn good. The Nessa short, huh? Yeah. Oh man, there looks like there's something in here. There looks like there's something in here. It just feels so good to be getting hits, even if they're worth nothing, you know? Yeah. I'm just glad these 400 sleeves I purchased in last week just whew, are finally getting some use. Corv Squire Rose. Uh, ice cream cone. Larvesta. Hippa, 
Gala Skitty Dina Chickaboo and another Salamence V Max. Is this the same one? No, I think that was just a regular Salamence V. Oh, yeah, this is totally different. Yep, we got the V Max now, baby. Full art V Max. Is that worth the double sleeve? Four dollars. Four bucks. So I would say no. Uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I'm saying ten and up deserves a double. Yeah, and I don't double sleeve them on camera anyway because it takes forever. Whatever. I double sleeve them after the video is done. I double sleeve when it's time to sell. If I sell, I unless I do it on camera, Tuesday. I do it on camera quite a lot, actually. I say that I don't, but I do all the time, actually. I probably should slow down on it because I do be sleeving stuff that don't need to be sleeved, and I'm wasting them. Yeah, you're gonna put. And us I out wonder why I run out so fast. Expenses. Yeah, we're running us out of business just on sleeves. All the shipping stuff that I bought, and now we're not getting anything worth shipping. I might have to return it to get my money back. So Jeez. She. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. Uh, Snubble, Medlin. Ooh, that's a cool electricity. Yeah. Yep, you're right. I'll just have to buy it again in a month. Yep, four dollars for selling that. We know. I know. I know, I know, I know. When some astral start hitting, boy. We're gonna have some money to be throwing around. Hopefully. Because I think between the two of us, we got quite a lot of astrals to deal with. No idea what the chase cards in Astral are going to be. I don't either. I haven't spoiled any of it. So we're just going to wing it. Don't look it up either. Just Let's just all be surprised together. Yeah, I think there is going to be a... Anybody who views probably already going to know, but we're not. Tell us in the comments how badly you want to tell us what's in the set, but don't tell us what's in the set. Oh, wait. By the time this video comes out, the set will be yeah, out. Yeah, if you're right, the set will probably already be out, and we'll probably already be squeezing in, Yeah. you know, single videos of it throughout the days. Yeah, we'll probably so squeeze in, try to, try to squeeze one in a day, maybe. I don't know how we're going to do it yet. But uh, that was it. That was my last pack. And, um... Well, I didn't get that in there. I got this Butterfree, this Vivavolt, and... Wait, I didn't get that Butterfree in this one, did I? Who knows? Oh, no. I think I got these two. Okay, very good. All right, Rusty Bucket out. Like and Tune subscribe. in to episode four. It'll probably come out tomorrow around the same time this one did. Rusty Bucket Saloon, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your grandma, turn it on her TV, you know, and just leave it there. You know how yeah. she just watches the TV guide all day? Just turn on the Rusty Bucket all day. Hide the remote. Peace.